Hi guys, this is OS again. In this video, I'm going to talk about editing with grips, creating boundaries, and cleaning up our drawing. So let's get started. I'm going to go and open my drawing to So let's talk about grips. If I go and select this line, I get three kinds of grips here. Every object has grips. Grips provide six different modify commands and an alternative interface to edit the object. If I select this middle grip and I move my cursor, I've got auto on and I'm gonna turn it off by pressing F8. And as you can see, I can move the object by selecting from the middle grip. So if I go and click here, I actually move the whole object. If I select the corner grip, let's say I select this grip and I move my cursor. As you can see, it's more like stretch. So let's say it's more likely stretching an object. I go and select the stretch command, select my object, select from here. And still, as you can see, I can still stretch. But grips are more efficient. Let's say I will go and select the corner grip. And I'm not going to click on it. I'm just going to hover over it. And I can two kinds of command here. I can lengthen the line. I can stretch the line. So we just seen stretch. So the advantage with lengthen is you can't change the angles. You can shorten the line and you can increase the line. So if I go click here, it's going to shorten the line with the same angle. I'm going to show you one more thing that if I select this grip. And this time I'm going to click on it. And now on the command line, as you can see that I'm in the stretch command with asterisk. So I can cycle through with different commands. If I go and press spacebar, and now as you can see the line is moving. And we got the move command here. If I press spacebar again, I'm in the rotate command now. As you can see, if my, I move my cursor, the object is rotating. I click, I press spacebar one more time. Now I'm in a scale command and I click, right click or spacebar one more time. I go back to my stretch command. I've got a mirror command here as well. So if I go and press spacebar again, I'm back to stretch command. So that's how you can cycle through with a lot of commands by pressing spacebar while you selected the grip. We have a lengthen choice as well, but that one is already only available in a shortcut menu right there. And now select this grip. So I've got move command by pressing one time spacebar. Press spacebar again, I've got rotate command. And now let's have a look, can we apply these commands by selecting two objects at the same time? So I'm going to go and select these two objects and from this grip, I'm going to hold down the shift key, click here, and then click on the other grip, and let the shift key go, and now I click on this uh, grip, sorry. And now, as you can see, I'm in a stretch command. I can stretch both objects at the same time. I press spacebar, now I'm in a move command, spacebar again, I can rotate these two objects and pretty much that's it about grips let's have a look how can we make boundaries i'm going to go and deselect these objects by pressing escape and i've got a boundary command here in the draw panel you go to boundary i'm going to select that and it's going to ask me to pick a point i have to click this icon i click here and it's going to ask me to select and boundary so what if i click here first i want to show you that of course these objects are separated what if i want to join boundary command is very useful when you are creating a 3d model on a, on the top of your 2d model so you know you can extrude you cannot extrude this separated objects so you have to combine them you could combine them by using join command but boundary command is pretty much same thing but it's very fast and it does all the work for you so i'm going to go and select the boundary command i'm going to pick this point and click here and press spacebar 
and what it did is basically I select this object now this object is combined so what if I select this group here and I press spacebar one more time now I'm in the move command so I take my object all the way up so as you can see that what Bonby command did is it did not basically join those objects it actually created a new object between that boundary so let's say if I make two lines here and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna trim this part and I'm gonna delete these two lines and now what if I choose the boundary command again and I pick a point right there so it's gave me a message a close boundary cannot be determined that means the boundary command only works when they have the covered boundary so if it's any object it's broken in the middle part and then you don't have the boundary it would not work so use the boundary command you have to have a proper object for it okay so now let's have a look a bit more features of boundary command I'm gonna go and select the boundary command again in this dialog box I've got few options here I can select pick point what I just showed you before what it does it select the point and it's make the boundary around that point so if there's any gap between the lines it would not work in a very big project let's say you, you got a lot of drawings going on in your project and you don't want to make AutoCAD to work hard for you to find a boundary so because when you select the boundary command AutoCAD go through the whole drawing and search for the object and algorithm basically work and then make a boundary between your pick point but what can I do I can specify the area for AutoCAD to analyze by clicking this arrow and I'm gonna go and select this area so what I get AutoCAD gonna do is it's gonna skip the rest of the drawing and just gonna analyze this part of the drawing and make a boundary and there's another option here says object type you can actually create a polyline and a region as well i'll talk about region in the next video but let's um polyline let's talk about polyline so polyline is basically a joint line what can be used to extrude objects so that's it for boundaries guys let's talk about cleaning up the drawing i'm going to go and move my polyline boundary back to the position by selecting move command I'm gonna snap it and now I'm just gonna show you one more thing let's say I'm gonna go ahead and use my break command to break this between points done and now I've got two objects here just wanna show you if I select this part I've got a separate line here I've got a separate line here and I've got a middle line on the top of um, these two lines so I've got basically three lines it's not a good drafting practice so there's an automatic command what basically it does it cleans up your project so I've got this line but as you know I had a pro um, I had a same object at the back of this polyline so I'm gonna explore this object as well by pressing X and select the object hit spacebar and I've got two same objects if I go and group this from here and move the object as you can see I've got a line at the back of this line so I move this back to the there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get AutoCAD to clean up this object for me so what it's gonna do it's gonna clean up everything behind these objects so anything the same object exists on the top of the same object it will be erased so let's have a look so there's a cleanup command if I go to my modify panel I've got a command called overkill it's in a modify panel so I'm gonna go click on this command and I'm gonna go and select this object and I'm gonna press spacebar so I've got this dialog box so it's asking me basically what kind of object I have to delete. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore it says ignore object properties. I'm gonna ignore layer and rest all. I'm gonna go get them to clean. 
So I press OK. And now if I go and select this line, so let's say I'll go and select the erase command and I select this object and now down here it's telling me one object found so that means the duplicates on this object were deleted so now our drawing is basically more streamlined talk about region in the next video subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video